Good evening, everyone. This is Ragdot. We're currently going down my circular shaft on Minecraft. I had a couple of good updates to show you guys about that. First of all, I made a barrier there. And actually, this is my third recording for this uh, third try third attempt at recording this because I um, tried new video configurations uh, to avoid frame rate issues and this seems to work quite pretty well up to now so we're gonna see so this is an extension I made basically only what it does is join the bedrock this is an unbreakable rock you can't um, go further down when you're there so I joined this place I plan to do a tunnel there but first remember that place where I found some goodies well I mined them and I ended up in a cave like this I investigated a bit in my second video but it failed and I'm kinda angry about that but anyways um, a couple of close combats too and uh, that was cool now there's a zombie close I wonder where is he I hear it like very close to me <laughs> maybe he's under me though so this is a place I flattened up a bit seems like it, it is right just beyond this place and this is a place with multiple um, layers of land so I decided not to investigate there because you can go there and there's a lot more there and there's a lot more there and up there too so that's a place I didn't want to investigate yet but I'm sure gonna do it now this place annoys me. When I come back there, oh, frame rate issues, sorry, but it's still better than my first couple of attempts. I found some goodies there, like iron there and iron on the other side, redstone there. So I'm at the good layer of land to find some diamond, and there's some lava there for some reason. So I'm a good place to find some diamond, but it just didn't happen yet. But I'm confident in myself to find some really quickly. Like there's some iron there. Oops, burnt. Uh, okay, let's see what's there. Okay, this is all burning. So better do a little security plays. So now this is a huge area I didn't adventure myself in, but I see some redstone over there on the other side. And there might be some diamond around too. But this is a huge place and I don't want to take a false step and fall in lava and die. And uh, meanwhile I got still some updates to show you guys. Um, there's some iron up there. Cool. Um, yeah. There is where my audio screwed up for the third recording. That's great. And um, I'm trying to see what's happening. Uh, from the video that I'm looking to right now which isn't obvious and uh, not easy to do uh, obviously there's a big waterfall I found some coal on the other side and some iron but I didn't see diamond maybe if I dig a bit and also I, I, I just explained there how to make a, a compass the compass that I just picked up Basically you take a redstone in the center of the crafting box and you put around four iron ore around it. 
that's basically it, uh, on the sides. That craft sub, it can't pass. We went down there, so let's go up um, and actually go for the the updates that I wanted to show you guys. And there's many of them actually. Uh, there I need some sticks because I'm running low on torches and also on pickaxes because I don't want to waste all my steel stuff even if I got some shovels that are made of steel but they go way better than stone and quicker and actually for the, um, the project that I had to build I, I needed many many of those so I'd rather make them with iron than stone so that's what I did and they they craft incredibly quick and dirt because dirt is a soft material but they also were wear out much quicker than um, than steel pickaxes because pickaxes well they, they last the same amounts of block and pickaxes go slow slower so I'm coming back up and uh, try and deciding to change directions so that I don't spoil anything to you guys because I want to show you guys the updates in order and um, picking up some coal because I, I use many of it to um, for the furnaces to make glass and things like that and uh, iron ore uh, steel ores and steel bars by which I mean yeah, yeah. To make a compass, you may, you need uh, not ores but bars. You need iron bars or steel, whatever the the <laughs> the white one, <laughs> the white one you use for the the material. So I'm coming back there. There I heard a zombie, and I remember one time I came there, and the zombie passed just before me and fell in this hole. So. Let's not worry about that, but we will cover this in a further episode. So I'm coming back up at the surface, but to not uh, spoil anything about what I changed, I decide to look the ground and don't look, guys, don't look. Oops, you saw a little pond of water. Basically, yeah, I created an infinite pond of water, and there's some frames. And there's my new cave. Actually, I made the walls out out of sheer pure stone. That well, well, well when you mail, melt some cobblestone, you gain some stone. I made it up to that point, and I left a little patch of dirt down there. So these are frames. You do them by put placing a wool from the sheep on the center of sticks that basically does a frame so I, I just crafted one to to show you and uh, getting back to the, the 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 chest so um, I'm gonna show you how Yeah, I collected some clay, yeah. I collected some clay, but I don't find any use now for it. And I rearranged my furnaces to put them all one close to another. This is an infinite source of water. I, uh, I blocked it there um, with the buckets that you see there. And there's how you make buckets in the crafting spot. You put steel bars like this that makes a bucket so with the bucket you can pick up water and I actually picked it up from the oasis on the other side of the mountain but why would I make a pond there without well when I have uh, it on the other side of the mountain because I needed it and basically to do an infinite source of water you put one on this tile I'm pointing right there and one other on this tile so after that you can retrieve how, how many um, buckets of water that you need uh, it's infinite but you need only two and this is a two by two by one square there one uh, depth 
it, it's 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 deep one uh, only one square basically I need the, this water close to my um, to my shelter oh there's a creeper there uh, to make a river around my shelter now it looks more like a fortress how, how can, and I don't want this creeper to explode there because it took me quite a long time to do this structure and also um, yeah so back in my tunnel I'm, I'm just gonna show you what changed the frame rate issues okay so this place I made a bridge it's the same hallway down there but I made a bridge to fit it out because it didn't fit um, the proportion or something like that so I have got two more updates to show you guys the first one is up there the tower let's go there you see there's a tower there and over there on the other side uh, there's a greenhouse I built a greenhouse with only glass and on the other side I built a bridge to go to the mountain because with the huge gap my river created I needed a way to easily get there which is there now let's go back to the greenhouse which I use to farm now I can now pass over there because well n no enemy can reach me there just killing the creeper to make sure it doesn't explode uh, and ruin all my plans so yeah I can pass there because I don't care because enemies can spawn up there and can get up there even if they are higher on the mountain there's a huge gap between there also um, yeah you can farm some uh, wet wheat 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 that's wheat whole wheat wet yeah wheat you can farm some oops shot uh, with my arrow there okay uh, my bow okay there okay go so I'm gonna go in the greenhouse just to show you how it works actually there's my chest I I put all my tools for farming there so that is closer so there's my greenhouse um, I'll show how it works in a further video because I don't have that much time now um, but basically you grow some seeds in soil ground that you, you you basically soil the ground with a, a hoe the, the tool that you need only two um, stones to make it and uh, sticks so and you plant seeds near a source of water that's why I, I put the water there and you collect after uh, it's grown two or three days depends anyways you, you grow them and you collect them and after that I don't know what to do with uh, the wet uh, wheat <laughs> with stop doing that right anyways um, yeah I don't know what to do uh, but it's used to make bread so I'm gonna do it next time possibly or some other time but I show you how uh, because I don't know right now how but it's not certain how hard to figure out anyways let's collect some wheat I'll restore this garden some other time because I'm now I'm gonna make just a quick demonstration how to uh, arrange a painting actually the frame thing that's what I'll be doing like in two or three seconds you'll see basically I just wanted to show you how to make TNT there I don't have enough um, gunpowder but I did it in my first attempt but it screwed up because I didn't have a video but basically you take five gunpowder and you put it in an X form then you put four sand blocks and you fill in the gaps and that makes a TNT block so the frame you just put it on the wall and if it's not the shape you want you just reclaim it there are many sizes available and it can take seven ti uh, several times it's just totally random so um, that that's what happens with that 
So, um, with that, I'm gonna say next time we'll maybe be going down. Uh, but this is Ragged sign out.